Hey guys, hey guys, how are we doing? Um, new vlog, woohoo! Hope everyone's well. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. I have been to B&Q this morning and I've picked up some wood. I picked up some wood, this wooden circular dowel, because I'm gonna be using it on my little chair upcycle that I did. I don't think I've showed you this yet, by the way. This is how the chair's looking so far. If you remember, it was all brown. I have painted the whole frame black. I've left the cane as it is. I'm tempted to whitewash it so it's a little bit less yellow. However, I don't mind it as it is. I've added this boucle here and then something's missing. Like, I feel like it's too open here and the boucle looks a, a little bit random. Like this padding just looks a bit random. So with that being said, I have been to being cute. I've picked up this wooden dowel and I'm going to be adding it probably around about there, uh, just to give it an extra little something. Obviously this is gonna be painted black as well. So yeah, that's gonna sit, it'll sit something like that, but it will be black and I think it's just gonna level it out and it's gonna make it look so much better. But yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna finish off this chair. Can't wait, I'm excited. I'm gonna create the frames for my DIY art in the living room. Oh no, my nail's breaking. Ooh. This is the only thing about doing DIYs. There's no point in me trying to have nice nails because they just break no matter what I do. I'll try and gel them today to save them, but I'm um, gonna cut them down, um, wood glue them so it's a big frame, spray paint it black or paint it black, and then I'm gonna just nail gun them to the sides of the frame so that it all sticks. And then my art will be framed so it'll look a little bit cleaner. And something else that I wanna do today, I am doing a challenge on Instagram. So I am doing a challenge alongside a couple of other DIY girls and we've got to use scrap wood from our house. I've got so much MDF and scrap wood in the garage so I'm excited. So I'm gonna head over to the garage in a bit and we'll see what we can make, but I'm hoping to make a radiator cover because I need some extra places to style stuff and also the radiators just aren't attractive so I'm hoping to do like a black radiator cover with some sort of natural wood inset. So anyway, mm -mm. morning guys. <coughs> I think that's the first word that I've said. I'm having a bit of a DIY day today so I thought I would take you along with me again. I am currently fitting frames for my canvases. Remember my canvases that I put in the last vlog? By the way, you guys are so lovely about that on the vlog and over on my Instagram as well. I couldn't believe the love that you guys were sharing for it. So really glad that you like it. Video is coming out very soon, so you'll be able to recreate it as well. Um, but yes, this is the canvas. And if I get a little bit closer, you'll be able to see that I've added a strip of wood, left it dry overnight in this frame shape. So I've just wood glued it together, stapled it just a little bit here. And then I've got this contraption on, which is a, oh, what are these called again? This is a band clamp and you use it to keep things square. So perfect for a frame like this, or if you're making like, I don't know, like a little box or something. Anyway, it basically keeps everything at a right angle and you pull it really taut using this elastic and you clamp it down. So I'm just gonna untangle that now and we can unlock it, loosen it up a little bit. I don't know how much you can see this, but this is the frame. I decided to go with a really, really slim frame. I think it just makes a piece look a little bit more expensive than a thicker frame. So now that that's done, I'm just gonna lean it against there. With that being done, I just need to paint it now. And then once I've painted it, I will be just adding just like a little staple or something. I might actually glue it. The thing is, because it's such a perfect fit, it actually doesn't even come off the frame, which is great, which is what I've done with this one. I put this one back up yesterday, so I'd done the same thing. I created the frame and I popped it back on the wall, but if I were to just pull this off, I could pull it off, but I don't see the point in not having it attached. That's the natural wood frame, which is really lovely if you have got more of a natural vibe going on in your house. You could totally leave it like that. Do you know what I really wanted to have done first, but I couldn't figure out a way to do it, was instead of making this out of wood, to have this as like a really shiny gold, like a, a brushed gold colour almost. I feel like that would be so beautiful because it's so thin as well. But I couldn't find where you would get sl slim... I couldn't find where you would get slim slats of gold material, whether it was metal or something. Don't think spray, spraying it gold will be the metallic feel that I want either. And you know, black is classic, so we'll go with that. Oh, another thing that I can show you is my side tables came. If you remember last vlog, I was trying to look for some side tables. I did find this beautiful one from TK Maxx, um, but I decided to just go with the ones which I've been loving for 
so so long i've wanted this for about two years now um these are the caprice side tables by Danalm and i haven't styled them whatsoever but i put them together yesterday they came flat packed and i just put them together really easy to put together and i think they are so beautiful so i got one for this side of this chair one for this side and then I need to style them up a little bit but I think it's going to look so so lovely once I've styled them painted that frame black I also need to make a frame for this one today because uh, that one definitely needs a frame I think it looks too lost in that wall this room will be done oh actually the skirt in here <laughs> so we made this TV feature wall and I just never got around to ordering the skirt in um, I got around to creating the template for it so our skirt and you can't find it anywhere like i tried being q and wix and loads of these um kind of like obvious places couldn't find that type of skirting so i went on a company called skirting for you i'll leave the link down below for you if you need to do it yourselves but i just measured all of the little grooves in my existing skirting gave them the measurements and they created this sent it out to me as a sample and um it fits perfectly so i need to wait for that to be delivered delivered hopefully next week and then I'll cut this down to side and glue it on. And it'll finally, finally be finished. Then I think I showed you this chair yesterday. I think. Um, but anyway, it's set overnight. So I had left it as it was like this for a couple of days. And I just decided I didn't like it as it was because it felt too open here. It didn't feel finished. So I went and got another wooden dowel from b and I bore a hole in this side deep enough just to slot it in I would glued it and then I <laughs> I drilled out a hole this side but I wasn't thinking when I was doing it I was coming in from this way and literally the split second before it happened I went oh no if I keep going with that it's going to split the wood on the other side I should take the drill out come to the other side and then drill it in this way but literally as soon as I had that thought it had already gone through and cracked a little bit so it ended up taking out this much of the wood <laughs> so I had to go over and create a bit of a wood slash um wood glue mix stick that all on top i'm going to sand it down today and then i'll be able to paint it over paint that paint that and then it will be finished and with this paint as well it's from frenchy paint you do not need a primer or a top coat for it you can if you want to but it's got a built-in primer and wax yeah that's what we're doing today i'll crack on with that and then i'll catch you later on Ooh, can you see the difference? So this one's been painted and this one hasn't. I just wanted to show you what it looked like um, basically before I did both of them. But this one looks so much more expensive. Excuse the mark here, I need to touch up that paint a little bit. I scratched the wall a while ago. But yeah, it looks so much more expensive, I feel, with a very thin black frame. It feels much more elegant. I'm so happy that I just got around to doing those frames because it looks so good so i need to go on and paint this one which i'll do now turns out i didn't hit record on my camera so i've been talking to myself for three minutes for no reason <laughs> so let's start from the top good morning everybody it is thursday and i'm hoping i don't have lipstick on my teeth but it is thursday i've got a little bit glammed up because i am shooting a very exciting video today um and i just felt like getting a bit glammed up because i just haven't really recently but the reason that i've picked up the camera is to show you what the living room is looking like so far i'm absolutely loving it um excuse this one this needs a black frame and i will get around to it soon because it was actually so simple to do however so happy with the progress of this whole area like i totally fallen out of love with the sitting room the last few months like entirely and i really didn't know how to bring it back and i feel like such a simple diy has really lifted the space and it's just made it look so beautiful and this whole little section over here is probably going to get a bit of a change because i don't want any judgment on this guys but i'm really out of breath <laughs> talking really takes it out of you i know that this isn't for everyone and that's absolutely fine in order to perk all of the feels back up and to make us feel right in the festive feels we're gonna put the christmas tree up well i'm gonna put the christmas tree up today i've decided today is the day i've been wondering when to do it i knew it was going to be earlier than usual just with oh honestly 2020 has been such a roller coaster it's been absolutely insane and i feel like this year i feel something in my timbers and i just feel so festive and i cannot wait to get it up and i don't think it's going to be too long having a christmas tree up until christmas because it is only like 52 days away or something like that six weeks i can live in with a christmas tree in my house for six weeks trust me and i feel like once the trees up my wreaths are up my garlands my other decorations I can then 
properly start to like bring out my Christmas diffusers and candles and all of that stuff because I feel like at the minute I'm really in limbo. Halloween's gone. I don't really feel autumnal. I feel much more wintry and my tree's not up. So I'm going to put my tree up and I'm going to get in the Christmas feels. I'm so, so excited because I told you last, last vlog that I've got the Balsam Hill tree. That is going to be the tree most likely if it's good. Haven't tried it out obviously yet. But I'm pretty much certain it's going to be a really good tree and excited because I think it's a much better fit for the space that I'm going to put it in compared to my tree last year. My last tree was a little bit too big um, but it was a fabulous tree. If you're looking for an affordable tree, home base do a really nice tree. Um, it was about £80 when I bought it and it was so full, it was huge, it was great. So uh, that's an alternative. If I can find the one, I don't know if they started to put their trees out yet, but if I can find it, I'll link it down below for you guys. I am gonna write a shopping list and plan the meals out for the week. We've never done that. And you know what? We end up going to the shops and I'll just buy, oh, that'll do for a meal, that'll do for a meal. And we either end up not having enough like meat or vegetables or something for the week, or we end up buying so much money and then we get to the till and they're like, that's 70 pounds and I'm like, what? I was meant to spend like 30 quid. So we sat down today and we kind of like, we kind of like envisaged what was already in the cupboards and the freezer and the fridge. And we were like, okay, we can use the chicken, we can use the salad, we can use the tin of chili con carne. By the way, do you say chili con carne or chili con carne? Because I flitter between the two and I really don't know which one's correct. So let me know in the comments which one you say. So this is the schedule for the week. Very um, organized or I don't know if that's organized or a bit like strict, a bit regimented. Is that the word? regime or regiment yeah regimented isn't it and then this is the shopping list so we've got on here bits and bobs um and it's crazy because i thought we were doing so well i was like oh we've really narrowed that list down and then i totted how much it would probably come to and it still came to double what we were trying to budget we were trying to budget 20 pounds for the week between us because we do still have quite a lot of stuff and we thought right we're going to use stuff in the cupboards rather than just buying everything new but once you get down to like buying meat and vegetables and just everything if we can nail this this week and it works i would definitely be implementing it for weeks to come because i'm sure it'll actually save us a lot of money anyway i'm going to stop offering now i'm going to go to the shops i'm not going to take you with me but i will see you when i get home and we're back in the room hey guys what is this this needs to come off my jumper. I tried to pull it off earlier and it didn't. Oh, so I've just been to Aldi. It was a pleasant experience. There wasn't anyone mass buying anything, whatnot. I probably have my makeup all smeared around my face now because of the mask situation, but whatever. What am I doing now? Oh, I wanted to show you what I got. So basically I thought let's share what I end up buying and what ideas I have for meal plans for the week because I think that could be cool. I think I'm just gonna take it out of bags. I hope you don't mind that I'm not gonna set it up and make it look really fancy and pretty, but I just, I don't have the time. It's upsetting me and my homegirls because I beat my face and like, now it doesn't actually look cute to be fair because I've had that mask on all day, but my face was beat and now it's not beat, so whatever. Oh, I cannot wait for a cup of tea. I've not had a cup of tea all week because we had no tea bags. Can you imagine? Can you imagine in an Irish person's house, no tea bags? If that sentence confuses you, I'm half Irish, half Nigerian. Uh, Nigerian? I'm half Irish, half Nigerian. I live in England. I'm British, but my mum and dad, blah, 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 you know. First things first, boo. I'm sure these are called cafeteria. Yeah, cafeteria. Oh, I thought it was cafeteria. A cafeteria. You like do something magic with it, and then you start to like sift through the coffee. I bought this. I buy one of these every single year. Fun fact, I buy one every year. Do I ever do them? No, because... I, I don't know because I literally really want to do them and I never get the time it seems so anyway I bought this one because it looked easy if you don't know about these noodles from B&M get to know these are bad these are bad I bought three we usually buy ten but we're trying to not eat as much of these so I thought let me get three let me just chill 30p each probably not the best for you nutrition wise but it tastes good they're spicy though so if you don't deal well with spice don't attempt them. I don't want to be pulled up on any repercussions, nothing to do with me. You know your limits, nothing to do with me. I ended up getting this butter chicken. Now, I love, with all my heart, a butter chicken. Love. However, I feel like nowhere does it right. There was one place in London I got a butter chicken once and it was nice, it was so good. Actually, there is a restaurant I went to recently um, in Newcastle, which did it really well as well, but I'm often, nine times out of 10, disappointed with the butter chicken. And I'm even more disappointed with the home 
ones that you can make um, at home. I haven't yet tried to make it from scratch because I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I need to buy to make it from scratch and I haven't done that yet. But I often get like the jars, which are just awful, or you know, the packs where it's like, it's like three separate packs and you get the coconut milk and this and that. I saw this one, never tried it, thought I'd try it. It was like 60p. Uh, got some batteries because I'm getting some really nice picture lights for over the artwork in the living room. And then I think that was it for B&M. Oh no, I did get one more thing from B&M. I got this because there's no way you're walking past this and not picking it up. Am I right? Now onto Aldi. I'm gonna just get out of the way a couple of things which aren't food related. So I um, can't help myself sometimes when I walk down the middle aisle. I know we're all like this, but they've got a really, really good um, like work shop tools section in at the moment really good like so many tools I had a, look, a little look down no tools that I felt like I needed to get um especially because I don't have the room in the garage at the minute <laughs> cry but just a couple of things I thought I might as well pick up because they were cheap two pairs of work gloves for 1.99 now these are a couple of like sets so we've got the countersink drill set and the Forstner drill set. Now I pick these up because I know there's going to be a day when I want to make some sort of cupboard um, and I'm going to need to, you see this bit here, you know, um, you when you get the Ikea furniture and there's always that kind of like hinge that fits into the circle, that situation. Hello. I also got some countersink drill bits. I've got a lot of woodwork projects coming up now that I've got my works tools oh those things make me so happy so happy so i know i'm gonna have a lot of woodwork projects and i'm gonna need to countersink some stuff and funny enough i don't have them in my little stash so let's go through the heavy bag first but when i talk you through i'll just talk through the meals that we might be having with them as well so crisps got these because we absolutely love these tropical blast if you haven't tried these they're like £1.29 and they're way cheaper than the cans of coke this peach and passion fruit rob is a massive sucker for anything fizzy it's not good for you your teeth your insides your body in total these are actually just like fizzy waters that are flavored but they taste so so good they genuinely just taste like fizzy drinks and they're like no calories this is two calories per 100 ml which is a tenth of the bottle two calories so it's just literally carbonated water salad because we're loving a salad at the minute some staples, garlic and onion, wonky blueberries, which are much cheaper than the £3.50 box that you can get. Um, potatoes, I'm excited to eat potatoes this week. I haven't had potatoes in a long time. Very excited. Potatoes, potatoes are good for me. Anyone watched King Curtis before? If you, if you don't know, get to know. I know that wasn't the right reference. He says bacon is good for me, but you know, the voice, it just leapt out. Classic Caesar salad for our chicken salad. Worcestershire sauce, don't actually have a meal in mind for this but there's so many times when we're like oh have we got any Worcestershire what is it is it Worcestershire or Worcester Worcestershire Worcestershire isn't it <laughs> that's such a hard word to say and spell who knows how to spell that word not me and then oh my god this stuff you can get it from Aldi it's so so good so this is the Sweet Freedom Choc Shots but this is in orange spice now I've just got the normal Choc Shot uh the 13 calories I think per like it says per teaspoon which isn't a lot to be fair but they actually pack a punch with flavoring orange chocolate me mm, you know love drizzling that on top of like porridges or hot chocolate drinks coffees if i'm making like a oh i didn't get any whipped cream oh man it's probably a good thing else i would have a whipped cream coffee every day this week but man some oat milk because i just prefer the taste of oat milk um it's really nice for coffees it makes it so creamy it's better for you and better for the environment and then rob prefers actual fresh milk so i got that as well okay next bag ended up getting porridge oats i absolutely love 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 porridge oats in the morning i have been having them with the biscoff spread you know those biscuits that you get when you go to like a car dealership and they serve you a little do you want a cup of tea and they bring you out the little packet of the two biscuits those but the spread the spread no words tastes so good oh it smells divine i should have picked another one of these up i got it from b m decaf green tea i would have got this in a smaller box to try them however I had never seen this before and I know everyone's going to run and tell me now that you can get these like PG tips or like Yorkshire decaf ones. I've literally only just thought about it now to be honest. However, I saw these decaf normal tea bags and there's 80 of them so if I don't like them, 
it's long because that is going to be a lot of cups of tea that I'm going to have to like grin and bear this. Now if you don't buy this when you go to Aldi, you need to. This stuff for a quick lunch, if you just boil some pasta and then literally just stir this through, oh, it tastes so so good. Mm. Tea packets of rice, we always get these for quick dinners, sometimes we're just in a rush and we can't be bothered to boil rice properly. Then I've got some bags of normal, oh no, I thought I bought basmati, oh well. I ended up getting long grain rice for when we are cooking prop properly. Bagels, Rob is loving a bagel at the moment as a little snack. Some bananas, some garlic baguettes. Now we don't normally get these. I do normally pick up the shush. So rude. I do normally end up picking up the like individual slices. We much prefer those, but um, I don't know why I bought this actually. It's katsu cod fish cakes for a lunch. I got some puff pastry because one day I'm going to hopefully try to make a chicken pie with leftover chicken, which you will see in a second. Um, vanilla fat free yogurt because this stuff is so good. These steak bakes and some like maybe sauteed potatoes on the side or something. Meats, I just ended up getting some bacon for Rob for Saturday. He usually has a bacon sandwich in the morning. It's ham for those ham and prawn cocktail sandwiches. If you have to buy that by the way that's like i'm pretty sure everyone has i'm pretty sure that's like a childhood thing and that we still have now because it's just tastes so good and then i've got some beef mints because we've got a pot of chili con carne in the cupboard so i'm going to be making that tonight i think that's tonight's dinner so i'll leave that out instead of normal chicken i decided to pick up some turkey steaks have tried turkey before not for a few years i just wanted to try it again today so i picked that up instead of chicken and then for sunday's roast I picked up this one as well. Now they didn't seem to have just a normal chicken. Do you know what I mean? Like it's unseasoned. It's not in a packet like this. It's just, you know, the a crown of a chicken, but not a crown, it's got the legs and the wings as well. They didn't seem to have them. It was 3 99 which I didn't think was bad. And it was already seasoned and I literally just have to shove this in the oven. So anything that makes my life easier, honestly, I'll go with. I'm hoping that um, after the roast on Sunday, I can then use the phyllo pastry and then I'll make some sort of pie. And then that is everything that I bought from Aldi, it seems. So I ended up spending 42 pounds. However, let's take off, let's take off eight quid because of the counter sink drills bits and the gloves that I got so that's 34 pounds so I spent 34 pounds not too bad 34 pounds for a full week of food I really enjoyed being organized I feel like I got through the shop stress-free I didn't overbuy I didn't end up like carrying loads of unnecessary weight and we've got something for every day this week so now I'm not stressed out because I know what I'm cooking hello beautiful people it is a friday i know my face may look very similar to yesterday and my hair i basically did my makeup again just like yesterday because i absolutely loved it i ended up putting some blush on my nose i don't know if you can see but i don't know it's like a trend that all the cool cats are doing so i thought i'd try it to see if i could be cool as well and i don't mind it i didn't go over the top but i really don't mind it i feel like i look like a cute little doll so i'm just in the house obviously it's friday no one can do anything but i thought to keep spirits high and to make me feel like i'm actually cracking on and getting stuff done and being my motivated and stuff i'm just gonna put makeup on and put a really nice outfit on from the christmas tree video today like putting up the christmas tree so excited so i thought let me get cute so that i don't look like a, like a bumbling mess like i do on most videos so i just decided to get cute and this jumpsuit i really recommend it's so so nice if you're looking for something that's like a put together outfit that you can just like whack on all in one it looks really nice with heels as well i've just tried it upstairs I did buy these picture lights from lighting direct i'll link them down low down low down low i'll link them down below for you uh, but they're going to go on top of the canvases that i made i bought two so one's going to go there one's going to go there of course and when i tell you these things are blooming bright like these are obviously not wired into the wall which is perfect they are battery operated which is something i've been looking for for ages i had seen these a few months ago and i just put off buying them for a while because i didn't really know if i definitely had a spot for them but now i've done those canvases like i'm absolutely in love with the thought of putting them up there they're 40 pounds each which i don't know if that sounds steep or not um so i paid 80 pounds for the both of them however i'm gonna put you down because my arm's absolutely aching <laughs> they're a beautiful like brushed bronze co color like an antique brass um i think my ones that i got were antique brass i think there are two types so i think i got antique brass this is the medium size they do a large as well i don't know if they do a small i didn't look but i got the medium size and on the back they're really clever because they've got a 3m tab so you can peel this off it um has that sticky stuff that i showed you in the last vlog and you can just stick it to the wall putting the nail in the middle to screw it to the wall because you can do that instead if you need to you pop out the back which is magnetic which i also thought was so clever so this is just a steel plate there's little magnets here they're actually really strong about this bit here here. this shows you where the batteries are but anyway 
I am going to head off now and I think that's all I've got to show you but I am going to go and do the Christmas tree so wish me luck but anyway after I do that the next thing that you'll see on this vlog hopefully is the Christmas tree up the Christmas tree is up she is looking beautiful honestly I'm really really impressed really impressed with the tree first and foremost it is beautiful when you get up close and personal all of these branches have so much detail in them that star as well oh I love it I'm so happy I went with that gold star I didn't know if it would look a bit tacky and it might look a bit tacky to some but I think it warms it up really nicely but we took a moment this morning just to put up this light fitting it looks tiny on the camera for some reason but in person I feel like it gives the living room a much more like modern feel which is exactly what I was looking for I cannot wait for that blooming skirting board to come I'm sick of looking at that now it's been nearly a year it's embarrassing honestly I'm going to do now is put up my picture lights this is giving me the ambiance that I needed in this room it feels so like cozy there's definitely no lacking in terms of light source considering that they are battery operated and then this is what they look like when they are off they look so beautiful got my made by Yasmin candle burning oh that's so gorgeous it's the festive cranberry and then i've also got the diffuser underneath the table which you can see here which smells divine so i've got some scrap wood from my pergola build which is going to give me the foundation of the radiator cover which is going to be like which is the perfect size in just need to do one or two small cuts with that then i've got leftover mdf from lots of mdf projects like the mirror the panelling and stuff so I'm gonna have enough hopefully MDF to cover the outside and then I've also got some scrap thin wood from my mirror DIY the mirror in the hallway in which I'm gonna be doing like some thin slats to let the, the heat out obviously and then I also want to try to make it a little bit more special I've got a lot of molding left over so this molding that you can see here we've got some of that left over and from other projects as well so I'm gonna try to make like a decorative um, design with it so it's not so boring and then you know me I'm gonna paint it black that is what the challenge is today I'm gonna crack on with the radiator cover probably end up coming on here and crying in like two minutes <laughs> and also thank you so much for your comments in the last vlog like when I put that video up, out I was thinking oh my god I've created a 50 minute vlog who on earth do I think I am like what why have I filmed this much stuff and why am I putting this out on the internet no one's gonna care and you guys are so so nice which I really appreciated I did have one comment which was like why are you doing a house update and then showing the clothes that you've bought which I do understand but at the same time these are like vlogs it's like my entire week so yeah just take it with a pinch of salt when I do these longer videos they're more so like just a span of my whole week not necessarily the only thing that I've managed to put in the thumbnail because I can't put absolutely everything in the thumbnail do you know what I mean just sat down on Pinterest and googled radiator cover and pretty much just like looked at any for inspiration of the general shape because I couldn't picture it in my head how it even looked but I went with two for inspiration which I actually screenshot looking at this one for inspiration um because it's all black it's very sleek it has got um some sort of cane or rattan in the middle which i initially wanted to ooh, which i initially wanted to do however quite expensive didn't know where to get it from um last minute and then the second one i took some inspiration from was this so um it's got these short dowels of wood at the top and then these bigger panels at the bottom i'm going to be doing something similar but i'm going to try to um, add an extra molding inside the middle of the paneling to make it a bit more bougie. I've just taken five minutes out to sit and do some measurements. These aren't going to mean anything to you, but if you're going to do this, make sure you sit down and take some measurements. But anyway, let's head out and let's start to build it. Okay, I think I found where all the decorations are. I can see some up the top here, here, and here, and I think there are wreaths in here, more decorations in here, more here. I think there must be more in there. I'm gonna take these out and pop them all. Oh gosh, there's more baubles up there as well. I'm gonna pop them all in the living room. Let's pop open some of these boxes. So this is a storage bag that I got last year from eBay, by the way. I will link this down below if you want to get one. I seem to have some white and silver baubles in here. This box is a box and you can see a lot. This box is a box. <laughs> This box is a box of baubles and you can see that they've got the tags on because last year I went to the range after Christmas when they had a sale on and I bought so many baubles that I hadn't had my hands on yet. Like, look at this, that's so gorgeous. 
I mean, they are really, really gorgeous. They are super gorgeous. I mean, they aren't the quality of the Balsam Hill, Hills ones. That's what I'm trying to explain. Like the Balsam Hills, you feel them and you look at them and the quality is just there. These ones are stunning, um, but they don't feel as quality. I mean, what can you ask for when they're a pound each? But I love the color palette of these. I'm so, so excited to get them on the Christmas tree. Let's get some of these on the Christmas tree. The tree is looking a little bit fuller. I basically, I started off by, I kept putting the baubles on the outside of the tree, like right on the tip of the tree. And I was looking at it and I was thinking, it doesn't look right, it looks a bit, I don't know, it just looks rubbish. <laughs> so I basically started to put some of the baubles deeper into the tree. So they didn't just sit right on the tip. They actually like, I pushed some of them inside and don't worry about losing um, some of your beautiful decorations and your baubles. It actually fills it out and you can still see them. Yeah, I feel like it just looks a lot better now because I've got some deep set in and some out. I'm just gonna show you a little overview of what all of the baubles are looking like. I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous bird one. I didn't even know that I bought that last year, so pretty. Then I've put some some small pine cones on the tree as well. I had some of these, what are these called again? Is it pin, pen? Oh, I forget the name of these flowers, but I had a few of these that I bought last year. They're little clip ones. And I've just put them all over the tree. I've got this gorgeous one that says joy here. I've got um, quite a lot of warmth in this tree. I love loving the brown tones as well. And then, instead of traditional ribbon i actually went in with some jute now i had this last year and i'd cut it into strips and i did the same thing but i left it towards the outside of the tree more this year i've shoved it right in the middle so you can barely see it but it fills out any gaps it just looks so nice oh guys look at the living room oh it's so cozy sorry the daylight has gone so i hadn't been able to show you what the christmas tree fully looked like i can't remember but i basically i'm going to talk you through the little bits that i've just put up around the living room just to give you some inspiration if you like it um but i'm so happy with how cozy this room is it is literal christmas i am going to be changing out these hydrangea style flowers for some dried berries i would, would like some red and some blue kind of frosted snowberries uh, just like little picks of them that kind of don't fill out as much as this they just kind of like stick up so i need to find some of those if you know where to get them please do comment down below because i'd love to get some soon and then this little guy i'd love to see what this looks like whilst the um all the lights are on I'm off rather i'm gonna test it tonight this part reminds me of you know in you know in the greatest showman when he makes that present up for his daughter for her birthday in one of the first scenes and he like spins it and then oh, i don't know anyway if you haven't seen it if you've seen it you know what i mean and then these two little guys over here they look so nice when all the lights are dim and then my little guy under here my reindeer i need to find my festive oils i can't find where they are and i've unboxed everything so i'm a little bit confused but he already smells really good to be fair and then i know this is a bit random however i have put this garland over the top of the mirror i need to sort it out a little bit i think i'm going to bend it up so it doesn't droop as low and i need to straighten it out looking at it now it's not not entirely straight but this mirror obviously doesn't usually have anything and this garland we don't have a mantelpiece typically you would drape this over a really nice mantelpiece but i thought it could actually look quite good up there and i actually think it does and then oh i need to relight this candle but this is the made by yasmin festive um festive cranberry and i've got a matching diffuser underneath i think you can slightly see it there and then when i was unpacking i found these little ornaments so i've got this little guy he was just this silver reindeer so cute i think my mum brought me that as well to be honest because i don't remember buying that and then i've got these two treats this one at the back i got from hobbycraft last year i think and then this one at the front i don't know where i got it from but i think together they look super super cute this beauty over here is the christmas tree and it is all finished i'm so happy with how it has turned out i basically just took my time to move a lot of the baubles inside add some like kind of layering i think that's the key to this is just layering so don't put all of your baubles on the outside drooping on the tips that just kind of like make the tree hang low at the top as well i needed to kind of point the the branches upwards they were kind of pointing downwards and it didn't look very full at the top so they're like this before they were like this so they just it looks a little bit better anyway but yeah i've just added oh that's i've just remembered what, what these are called poinsettias poinsettias uh, those little flowers very popular on christmas trees and then i've made sure to go around 
the sides and kind of at the back with the baubles not too much because honestly no one sees the back of the tree so i'm really not that bothered but where there were any major gaps i kind of like made sure there were baubles going around the side and then around this side as well is all baubled baubleified absolutely love it and i love the warmth i love the warmth that the tree gives so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to sit down in my newly decorated Christmas room. <laughs> I'm gonna play some Christmas jazz in the background. I'm gonna edit this vlog and I'm gonna put it out. I'm trying to get it out for tonight, but we will see. Just look how magical that is. Oh, it makes me so happy. I wanna thank you so much for all of the love on the vlogs. You guys have been amazing. Honestly, I really, really appreciate it. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Lots of love. Bye. Mwah. Prawn cocktails with ham, ham sandwiches at lunch. Like Wow. <laughs> I just spilled tea on the floor. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh. That wasn't recording the whole time. I'm gonna cry. That wasn't recording the whole time. Oh. Take care guys. Take care guys. It's